Okay, so now we are going to move on to um installing the Oracle software. Okay, so so in this lesson, um the student should be able to describe the different role of the DBA or the database administrator, explain the difficult tasks and tools needed before insta installing the Oracle software, know how to properly plan an Oracle software installation and install the Oracle database software. Okay, so these are the things that we are going to discuss for this one. Okay, so but, uh, guys, these are the um, tasks of the Oracle database administrator. But please take note that this is, um, it is not limited to this, okay? One, evaluating the database server hardware. Two, installing the Oracle software. Three, planning the database and security strategy. Four, creating, migrating, and opening the database, five, backing up the database, six, enrolling system users and planning for their Oracle network access, seven, implementing the database design, eight, recovering from database failure, nine, monitoring database performance. So those are the tasks of the Oracle DBA. So tools for administering, you have the OUI, or the Oracle Universal Installer. Um, you have to be familiar with the acronyms in the Oracle, okay? So first is the OUI or the Oracle Universal Installer. We have the DBCA or also known as the Database Configuration Assistant. Three, DBUA or also known as the Database um, Upgrade Assistant. And then we have the ONM or the Oracle Net Manager. We have the ONCA or the Oracle Net Configuration Assistant. We have the OEM or the Oracle Enterprise Manager, we have the Server Control Utility, Recovery Manager, and then the SQL Loader. So those are the tools for administering your Oracle. So first, planning your installation. Before installing the Oracle, you should um, put, um, put these things to consideration, consideration. First, what Oracle software are you going to install? Okay, there are different versions of the Oracle. Okay, so you have to um you have to be um you have to know first um you have to identify what is the Oracle software that you are going to install. On our case, we are going to install the Oracle 11G um 11G R2, meaning to say that is 11G release release two. Okay, second, um does the hardware involved meet the minimum um required specification? In every, in every software class, before we do the installation, as we all know, diba, meron tayo tinatawag na minimum requirements, okay, hardware and software requirements. So, you have to check, okay, you have to check not only the hardware, you are to check the OS and everything, okay, if you meet the spe uh, required specification. And then third, is there a recommended order of installation when multiple products are involved? So, ito yung sinasabi nito, kapag package software ang i-install mo, hindi lang iisa. So, ano yung una mong dapat i-install? And then, um, fourth, are there prerequisite steps that must be performed by someone other than the database administrator? Okay, so if we are going to install, so let me inform you that these are the system requirements of the Oracle database. For the memory, uh, so we have the memory requirements, the space requirements, and the operating system. For the memory requirements, okay, at least one gigabyte for the database instance with Oracle Enterprise, Manager Database Control, and 1.5 gigabyte for the ASM instance and Oracle Restart. For the disk space requirements, okay, at least you have a three gigabyte of swap space, one gigabyte of disk space for the temporary directory, 3.8 gigabyte for the Oracle database software, 5.5 gigabyte for the grid infrastructure software, 1.7 gigabyte for the pre-configured database, and 3.4 gigabyte for the fast recovery area. So by the way, class, um, the pre-configured database and the fast recovery area are optional. And then of course, the operating system it should meet your OS. So it should be a match with the or compatible with your OS. So, preparing the operating system. So, first is that you have to create different groups. So, the two groups are the O-Install and the DBA. So, by the way, class, um, you did not um, experience this. Um, it's because that um, we use the um, Express Edition. So, this goes with 
Oracle Enterprise Edition. Okay? So, ang naka-install po sa atin ay Express. We are using the Express kasi it, yung Express yung libre. Okay? It's for free. So, optional groups, you can create this um, different groups. We have four. Oper, o ASM DBA, ASM um, Oper, ASM Admin. Software o um, owner, usually Oracle. And can create multiple users for multiple product installation. <coughs> Setting environment variable. So again, this class, um, you did not experience this because this is applicable for the Enterprise Edition, not the Express Edition. But um, just to let you know, okay, we have what we call the Oracle-based Home SID and then NLS Lang. Lang is for language. So base is the base of the Oracle directory. Home is where in the products run. SID is, um, it is not required before installation but useful afterwards for ease of interaction. And then the NLS lang is an optional environment variable that controls the language, direct uh, territory, and client character set setting. So checking the system requirements, okay? Make sure that you have a, an adequate temporary space. Double check your system, 64-bit versus the 32-bit. Normally, dapat 64-bit na tayo ngayon, di ba? So correcting operating, ang correct operating system or as patch level, System packages, system internal parameter, X server permission, sufficient swapping, and then Oracle home status. Okay, so ito na yung ginawa natin. Okay, Mark. So first is that we are going to download the Oracle database from the official website. So ngayon, um, we, we did, what we did is that um, I, I did not use the official website. It's because that... Um, the version 11G is not uploaded in the official website anymore. So, kaya nagbigay ako ng ibang link. So, tapos, I said, um, pero kung sa official website ka, first, bago ka makapag-download, you have to create an account. So, after, um, after clicking creating an account, you have to fill up the necessary required information. Kapag nag-fill up ka na, sasabihin, your account has been created. Tapos, ipapabalidate yung email mo. After ver verifying your email address, okay, you will validate it by means of clicking the link. So, kapag na-click po na, your email has been verified, then you can continue to download. So, ito yun. Oracle XE 11G. Ang, two ang ibig sabihin ng tung to, it means release 2. This is applicable for 32-bit computer. Kaya nga, win 32. Pero syempre, ang sa atin, 64. 64 yung dinownload natin. So, you have to wait to finish the download. After downloading, so lalabas na yan dito. So, again, we did not use the 32. We used the 64. So, next is you are to extract. Kasi naka-zip yung file. So, you, you are to wait to extract. So, it will extract after extraction. Now, you are to click the setup.exe. Ito, kapag nag-extract na siya. Pasukin mo si this one. And then double click si get a setup.exe. So once you click the setup.exe, ito na, installing Oracle database, loading the Oracle file. So again, we use the Express Edition. So extract. So you wait uh, for that to finish. And then now we are now on the um, install shield wizard. Okay, so all you have to do is click next to continue. After that, this is the license agreement of the Oracle Database 11G Express Edition. Make sure that you accept the license agreement. I accept the terms. And then click next. Okay? So double check mo, ano ha, kung ganito yung ginawa mo, eh, Mar. After that, make sure na nakacheck. Okay? Make sure na nakacheck to. And then check the destination folder. For example, Drive C, Oracle Exe. And then click next. Okay? Next is, you are to set a password. Okay, so, ang sabi ko, sa mga studyante ko nung nakaraan, yung nag install you just the Oracle, small letter, um, small letter, para hindi natin makalimutan. Ikaw ba, Amart, anong ginamit mong password yung nag install ka dito? Oracle din ba? Okay, very good. 
So you put um, enter password Oracle and then confirm the password Oracle. So the password Oracle can be used on the database account SIS, SYS, capital, and system. So again, the password Oracle is applicable for the account SIS and system. Okay, then after putting your password, click next. Okay. Now, this is um, the re um, setting summary. All you have to do is review first. So, kung okay sa'yo, click install. So, now, this is the setup initiation. Okay, so that the, the installation will proceed. Okay, so wait for it to finish. So, after that, lalabas installation completed. So, sabihin dito, finish installing Oracle Database 11G Express Edition on your computer. And then you have to click finish. So now, now is the time to run. Ito, Amard, I'm not so sure kung ginawa mo to ha, but please check. Doon sa ano natin, start menu, hanapin mo si run SQL command line. Kung hindi mo dyan makita, sa start, choose all programs, hanapin mo yung Oracle Database 11G Express Edition, okay, then run SQL command line. Okay, so, Anong gagawin natin sa SQL command line? Ayan. Magpo-prompt yung command line natin ng SQL. Itatype mo dito sa SQL, connect system. Pwede yung case. And then enter, you input your password. So, ang password mo ay Oracle. Pag tama ang pinasok mo, alabas, connected. Kapag mali ang input mo, wrong credential. Diba? Next. Um, so, the lesson summary here is that... Um, the, you should finish the following, create Oracle account, successfully install the Oracle Database 11 g Express Edition, and you are able to establish a connection with the ISQL Plus using the system and Oracle.